is Stuart Burton. Good morning, I'm Doreen Capillaire, the president of the Wings for Val Foundation, and I'm here with my good friend Cecilia Pays, who is on our board of directors. It's an honor for us to be, to take part in this happy and important event. This is the ninth consecutive year that the Wings for Val Foundation is awarding scholarships at the WAI annual conference. First, let me tell you a little bit about our foundation. It was founded in 2015 as a nonprofit organization to honor the legacy of my daughter, Navy fighter pilot, Lieutenant Valerie Capillaire Delaney, by providing scholarships to women pursuing ambitious careers in aviation and to inspire future generations of women to spread their wings and soar. The foundation has grown significantly since 2015, thanks to the devotion and contributions of so many of you who believe in our mission. My heartfelt thanks. I'm proud to say that today we are awarding $18,000 worth of scholarships. And the total of scholarships we have awarded since our inception is now over $100,000. Our recipients are selected from a highly competitive pool and embody many of the same qualities as Val and other women in the military aviation com community. everybody for putting up with us. We did get the wrong time to be here. <laughs> and, you know, being someone who struggles with time anyway, I had to count on Doreen. <laughs> so, before presenting the award, we did want to talk a little bit about who Val was. Many of you in the room who do know Val or did know Val or heard about her, but I think it's important to also let everyone know about who she was. She was a 2009 graduate of the Naval Academy, the U.S. Naval Academy. And she had a degree in aerospace engineering, so she was a rocket scientist, or an engineer. She's also a very um, accomplished athlete, and I know this personally because she played sports with my children in high school, which is how I got to know the family so well. She played lacrosse at the varsity level for the Navy, and she loved it. She loved being in the academy. She loved being in the Navy. Her dream was to become a Navy pilot, and she accomplished that dream. She, would, she did receive her wings in 2012. She, <laughs> I do more public speaking than she does. She was subsequently assigned to the Naval Air Station Whitby, where we unfortunately lost our dear Val in a, um, in a crash during a lower level mission on March 11th, 2013. The family has turned this tragedy, I think, into the one of the most positive things we can do by awarding these scholarships. She is remembered as a source of strength, courage, and a perseverance and inspiration to everyone. And she is the one that reconnected me with Doreen, which is something I will be grateful for for the rest of my life. So, there are two recipients of the Lieutenant Valerie Capillaire Delaney Memorial Scholarship. The winner of $5,000 is awarded to Harley Leonard. Harley is from Chapel Hill, Tennessee. She earned her master's in security studies at the Naval Post Grad School in Monterey. She is a special agent for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. <laughs> and Harley plans to use the scholarship to become a licensed pilot in law enforcement. Congratulations.
The second Wings for Bad Award of $3,000 goes to Felice Artuso of Bellingham, Washington. <laughs> Felice is currently pursuing a fixed wing private pilot's license and aims to become a bush pilot in Alaska. Felice could not be here because she is mountain climbing in Spain right now. <laughs> but we wish her much success in her adventuresome career. The foundation is also very proud to award a, a Rotary Wing um, scholarship. It, it is in the name of Sarah, Captain Sarah Woodston Cullen, and it is her memorial scholarship. She was a Black Hawk helicopter pilot who perished on the same day as Val in Afghanistan at the age of 27. Sarah, like Val, grew up in Maryland. She graduated from the U.S. Army Academy at West Point in 2007. She's known as a joyful person. She had a positive effect on those around her and was very appreciated for her humor, her wit, her kindness, and her much admired candidness. Sarah's family chose the winner of the $5,000 award, and this year she is Karina Garden. <laughs> Karina is from Las Vegas, Nevada. She is a combat veteran with 26 years in the Navy when she retired. She um, had her experience in the areas of special operations and diplomatic fields. She will use the scholarship she is receiving for her Rotary Wing private pilot's license. And we want to say thank you, Karina, for your service to our country and may you realize your dream. Please be, come forward and shake the hand. And last but not least is our drone pilots training scholarship that we uh, give in conjunction with Dart, Dream, Dart Drones Training School. Every year since 2018, the Wings for Bell, Bell Foundation has been awarding a scholarship under this banner. This year's recipient of a $5,000 scholarship is Elizabeth Whitty. Elizabeth is from Indio, California. She is a student in engineering at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University worldwide. She has already completed the DART Drones training course and passed the FAA remote pilots exam. The Wings for Val Foundation will be purchasing a professional drone for Elizabeth. And we congratulate her on this one. our scholarship presentations, please join me in recognizing these amazing young women who have a dream worthy of supporting. I hope that you will continue to support the Wings for Val Foundation so that we may award even more scholarships in the future.